Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, I am here today to talk to you about one of my favorite comic series called Lumberjanes. Um, and we're gonna be talking about the first collection of um, comics from Lumberjanes and their awesome authors. I'll get to the teaser text and then we'll talk a little bit about why I like this book and how you guys can access it. Friendship to the max. At Miss Quinzella Fisquin Pinniquiquil Thistle Crumpets Camp for Hardcore Lady Types. Thanks. What's up? I caught a Oh. Miss Quinzella Fisquin Pinniquiquil Thistle Crumpets Camp for Hardcore Lady Types. Things are not always what they seem. Three-eyed foxes, secret caves, anagrams. Luckily, Joe, April, Mal, Molly, and Ripley are all five rad butt-kicking best pals determined to have an awesome summer together. And they're not gonna let a magical quest or an array of supernatural critters get in their way. The mystery keepers keep getting better and it all begins here. The New York Times bestselling series begins here, written by awesome all-star Noelle Stevenson, Nimona and Adventure Time, and brilliant newcomer Grace Ellis, and illustrated by the tremendously talented Brooke Allen. So the first thing I really like about this book is kind of just right here on the cover, and that's the artwork. Um, I love how it's drawn. I love how the characters look. And really, if you're a fan of shows like Adventure Time or Gravity Falls or Steven Universe, um, you're going to see a lot of similarities in the story and kind of the artwork of it. Um, and really, reading this almost feels more like watching an episode of your favorite cartoon than it does reading a graphic novel. The next thing I really like about the book are the characters. Um, they each have um, a pretty unique personality, all five of them. Um, and usually you think five characters is quite a lot to keep track of. Um, but the authors and illustrators do a really great job of establishing very different um, but complementary personalities um, for each of the five characters. And we learn a lot about them and what makes them unique um, and why they all work really well together. I think Ripley, who is over here with her blue hair streak, is probably my favorite. Um, she's really spastic and spontaneous, like on this page where she's climbing a tree for a candy bar that a really weird three-eyed eagle has taken from her. And really, that's another great thing about the book is the um, weird and mystical creatures that show up and the different type of supernatural beings that they encounter. Um, it's really fun and quirky and it keeps everything um, really fast paced and unique. I know I talked about the art style before, but I also wanna specifically talk about how um, they use gutter space in here. Um, we talked about how the gutter is the space between the panels and the comics um, before spring break and in here you can see that the gutter space is either filled in with really dark colors to make it more ominous um, or it's used as part of the image so here the gutter is this image close up of joe here <laughs> So you can really see how it makes the page more dark and ominous and foreboding um, through this use of really awesome color in the gutter. Um, and they do this really often. Like here's another scene in the forest where they're really framed by this sort of tree with the trees and the kind of creepy ambiance of the forest. If you think Lumberjane sounds right for you, you can use Hoopla through your Rolling Hills library card and access that for free. Um, you just have to search for the title. And what you're gonna find is not just the volume that I have or the other three volumes I have, but tons of volumes. I think I saw up to um, volume 13 and each volume has four of the individual comic issues inside of it. Um, this isn't a graphic novel, it's actually a um, compilation of different comic issues into volumes.